Today, we're going to be looking at user groups. User groups let you assign viewing privileges to users in bulk rather than one by one. To start, let's navigate to the Usage dropdown on the left. Then, let's go over to Users. Right off the bat, you'll notice two tabs, Users and User Groups. Users will show us all of the users within a specific organization. At a quick glance, you can see their emails and even the source from which they were imported. However, we're looking at User Groups. Let's navigate to the next tab. You can see that there are four existing user groups. If you're just starting out with Cloud Radial, you'll only have two, Admin and Everyone. We recommend starting out with just these two. Creating more user groups allows you to further customize your Cloud Radial experience, but it makes things a little bit more complex. To create a new user group, click on Add at the top right and name it whatever you like. For simplicity's sake, you'll want to name your user group something easily identifiable, like Marketing Users or Accounting Users. I'll close out because we already have a few different examples. Much like company groups, user groups don't do anything until you add people in them. You can see I've already got a few users in these ones. To add them, we'll go back to the Users tab and manually click on each user we want to add to the group. For example, Ricky. Once I'm in this user view, I'll click on Edit, I'll go to Groups, and I'll drag Ricky into whatever available groups I'd like. I can also take him out of existing groups if I so choose. Once I've moved him to the groups I want, I hit Submit. Note that you can send people to multiple different groups. Now we understand what groups are and how to move people into them. But how does it actually work in Cloud Radial? Let's look at Content, for example. We'll navigate over to Partner on the left, and then Content. The first content package, under Articles, is a dental HIPAA information. We can see that the user groups it's assigned to is everyone, and it's assigned to the healthcare company group. This is where it can get a little complex. You can specify what user group can see this content as well as what company group. Therefore, making a bunch of different user groups allows you to customize exactly what content those user groups see. You can even specify what company groups they'd have to be in to see that content as well. Down here in portal information, you can see that only admins have the ability to see this content. Same thing for Office 365 Admin. Play with these settings and understand who can see what before you move on to making your own custom user groups. Though we looked at user groups on the usage side of things, you can even see them on the partner side of things. Under Partner, navigate to Clients, and you'll notice that the second tab is Users. Let's click on it. From here, you're able to see all of your companies at once. And by clicking on individual users within these companies, and hitting Edit, and Groups, you can also see the available groups within their company and what group the individual user is a part of. If you so choose, you can also move them from here. Be sure to play around with the user groups to get a combination that works for you and your clients.